Hello. Taking on some chaos. Should be interesting. Alright, let's see what we're up against. Oh, this is... Uh, okay, they, no, they played a bit. <coughs> okay, they played one. Played 1-1-1 one, one, one against Amazon. So that's pretty good going. Amazons would normally be... Uh, oh, they got a lot of armor breaks. Okay. Amazons would normally be a pretty good counter. They must have just rolled some pairs. And they've managed to pick up shore hands, which is useful, but thankfully, <laughs> I say thankfully, we do not yet have, um, oh, that's a lot to be given away. That's probably a wizard. Well, they may go bribe. Uh, but yeah, they, we do not yet have strip ball, so shore hands is meh. Uh, while they're thinking, real quick, never mind. It's just going to look at our team. We're a man down. Uh, they did go for wizard. Wizard, it's not horrific, but uh, I, I mean, in some ways, I'd almost rather it to the bribe babe combo. I mean, it depends how well it works, honestly. Elves can recover from it against Ke like if if we had it against them, it would be a lot more scary for them because obviously we can retrieve very easily. But this is a team we expect to kind of body us pretty hard, get right in, and just uh, stand us up really bad. I think we go on defense because that kind of somewhat invalidates the wizard for the first half. So, you know, perhaps uh, maybe they have to use the wizard to score. Uh, maybe they have to use it to get the ball back from us. I mean... I definitely prefer to do it this way around. Oops. What am I doing here? Okay. Let's get our. Okay, it's our war dancers that need to drop back. Honestly, the war dancers being on the front wouldn't be the end of the world, actually. Okay, I think this is our more traditional setup. One, five, one. Okay, so we actually have a good spread of SPP on our little guys. We should we should really start leveling up pretty well soon, depending on how fast we die. Yeah, I mean on paper this should be a good match for us. Um but if they if they get the good blocks and if our armor breaks, uh that could that could change. I assume that's what happened versus the Amazons, because Amazon should take these guys down. Uh, you know, should be a good counter versus Chaos. Indeed, the Amazons would be a pain for us as well. We need some tackle and we need some strip ball. Uh, we're likely to go for... Uh, I don't know. We probably want tackle on a war dancer as well. We want tackle on this guy. Obviously, we want block on him as well. So that he doesn't hurt himself when he... Rolls bad. <laughs> Let me just check I'm recording here. Yes, we are. Okay. Nice. Okay, very shallow kick. It's not the end of the world. A little deeper would be interesting because it would force them to send some guys back. This pretty much means they can secure the ball with no particular worries. Had it advanced like a square forward or something, that could be interesting. I mean, they may just have played very well first game. May just be a quality player. That's a very strong cage. And yeah, this is a this is a game where you just want your chaos warriors. 
like on every you want them like in base contact with somebody just all the time because their high strength means that they're just really uh really solid all right down one If I was Dark Elves, I would base them up heavily on their Beastmen as well. Take some hits, try and use up some rerolls. But I think with Wood Elves, you you just don't you just don't want to get hit. I assume he's going in with the yeah he is. All right, so so far his blocking's gone pretty well. I think we might need to send a couple guys around the side. In fact, I should be able to get a mighty blow hit in on this guy. Uh, you are going to have to join, unfortunately. Yeah, we can do that. You can go here at least. Uh, I'm a little bit worried that they're going to use their warriors as just like a a wall here. So I am going to send a couple of guys around the sides to make it so we have some uh, some potential attacks that they're more juicy targets. They're probably going to try and hit this guy. Okay, no dice so far. Pretty standard first turn there. Nothing doing. See, I'd say so far very successful first time for them, pretty poor first time for us, but uh, no lasting damage. I suppose if they do blitz this guy, it means they don't have a great advance. They can sort of advance through here, but it's kind of a bit of a squishing. Yeah, so they are going for this guy. Which makes sense because we actually, he's more of a threat to their beastmen than they are to our guys. The backing up is interesting. I didn't expect them to back off quite so heavily. But we'll see what they've got in store. Okay, so they're going to try and bring me in for the foul by the looks of it. <laughs> so they want to get rid of... I mean, he's the biggest threat to them in terms of getting the ball loose. But obviously, now they have failed to knock him over. Which is the downside for going after war dancers when you got no kind of uh, takedown skills. <clears throat> but he didn't have to use a reroll, so he can get himself pretty decent on that front. <laughs> so as of right now, we have a free block here. I assume they'll maybe move somebody else in. Okay, they're moving up their uh, cage a little bit. A 
Okay, so they're leaving us with a hit there, that's nice. Eh, uh, not ideal. There we go. Made up for it a bit. Uh, let's see. I think we just want to hit one of these guys, to be honest. Until we get our team a little bit back better positions. Just kind of like... Causing them a little bit of a squeeze is uh, good enough. We'll move our in-contact valuable player first. Then our in-contact reasonably valuable player next. And then our guy who's just laying down will go last. I'm gonna drop this guy back one just so they don't have quite so many guys in contact with us if they decide to stand us all up. I mean that has good good points for them and bad sides trying to stand us up. The uh, positives being that it means we have to sort of try and dodge away from them. The negatives being if we actually do manage to get the ball free, they are a lot more uh, they just have more trouble reacting because they're now having to, you know, block players away or dodge away to get to get kind of uh, any kind of force onto us. I kind of expect them to go for the mighty blow guy, and I think I think they went for the agility guy because they were hoping to knock him down, and then push him next to their other guys so somebody could jump on him. <clears throat> Which is fair enough. They really are going after the war dancers. Didn't expect that. Oh, well, did I? I don't know. It's just. You know, unless you can get three dices on them, I don't, I don't know how worth the attempt it is. Maybe slightly. Is he going to move out? The more they move out, the more tempted I'm going to be to dive in there for a for cage dive. And I might even go in with the three plus war dancer, because if I can knock it free, the agility five guy can run in and try and pick it up and get it out. But we, we shall see. He's taking his time thinking how he wants to position. Okay, sticking with that. So. Um, hmm. That's tricky right now. Where is our catcher? There you are. Could move the catcher in here. <laughs> to let us do this hit. Alright, that's nice. We'll follow to get away from the warrior. Now we have a root in here, but I don't want to do a two dice against. So I have to stand up somebody here. He can't really do it. If I can move this guy... It's a big commitment to move this guy. <laughs> I 
Hmm, that's not what we wanted. Not what we wanted at all. Bring our war dancer back around because the numbers are not quite where we'd want them. This guy might get surf now, which I don't like. Do the one dice over here, I think, to try and stop this surf. Yep, that hurts. Yep, 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 yep. Did not play that turn particularly well, I must admit. I mean... Had the Chaos Warrior gone down, it would have made things a lot better. Uh, but I probably should have abandoned it harder once he didn't. And I, I was kind of determined to get the Blitz. I probably should have just left the Blitz alone. So they can push on through here now. Uh, but they will be surrounded by Wood Elves if they do. And I don't know if they can get... They can't get a solid cage down here. So I don't know how much they want to do it. Because they've used a Blitz, so this guy's still going to be up. So I don't think they trust it. They might just send a guy through just to have somebody down here. Or even two guys. They could at least send him and, like, send a beast down here. Just to kind of have somebody behind our lines. Could even put this guy in contact and bring a guy through. You know, yeah. I think you can. You sort of start to make a a little hint of a push, but I don't think you move your main cage. Okay, re-roll out. Stage Warriors for the three dice here. Okay, and he's got to pretty much stay where he is now. But we do have a much better chance at a um, at a blitz on the ball carrier here. I think it. I think it has to be taken. Really. Can you get all the way around? No. I mean, you could get here, and I could come in for the side blitz. I don't really want to push it that way, though. I do want to push it out to behind. So... I think you come in here. I can't get this guy up yet. Because I, if I get the ball free, I want to push him that way. So I think we're going to bring this guy around just as a... Like a backup here. Because if this goes wrong, they're going to push down here hard.
Yeah, that wasn't the best. Okay, we're going in, guys. I don't want to contact the Chaos Warriors as much as I am, really. Okay, let's try something a bit risky here. Meh. Okay, we'll leave it there. We've used both our rerolls. We've not really achieved a whole lot. It is a way of things. Now, if the war dancer stays up, I think we keep diving, but um, there's a reasonable chance he won't. We've kind of got a bit of a surround on them, but of course, uh, unless they roll some uh, dub dub skulls as well, um, we are going to get pounded pretty hard here. Because we have a lot of guys in contact with a few move rounds for assists. Okay, going straight in for the blitz. Now it does mean he's going to have to... I mean, he can just keep pushing him out, obviously. But it's a little fiddly, for sure. If he knocks him over, then things suddenly get a lot more, uh, you know, a lot more pleasant. That being a push is quite nice. I mean, he can push him away still, but it, just him being down in that area is kind of a blocker to him kind of running out of the situation. And he's let him go so that his he can maybe get a three dice here. Let's see, four, five, six... N uh, no, 4-5. I don't see a 3 dice yet. If he can move one or two of these other guys, he can get a 3 dice on the War Dancer. Okay, there's one. So, now that'll be a... 5. That'll do it, actually. Okay, that's pretty sad. Oh man, that's really sad. Oh teams, why must you break so much? Um, ah, Niggle's better. But Niggle's only impactful when you get, you know, actually hurt. The minus one armor value gets you hurt more often, so. I don't know why I didn't go for the three dice. I guess because it would push him, push him up towards the ball carrier, which is kind of scary. There he goes. I'll probably just take that. He didn't take it. Okay. I'm not sure why, to be honest. Okay, so there's our assist for this block. Hey. 
Ay, ay, ay. I guess you're pushing back in here. I mean, we weren't going to get a two dice either way. Uh, you push back in here. We're just kind of going in hard now. There we go. Alright, that's an interesting place. So we're getting very stand up here now. Oh, my mouse is going to die soon. Let's hope it doesn't do it in the middle of an important turn. So yeah, I think it's fair to say this is interesting now. I mean, I guess he could fireball us, but then he's using it very early. It's kind of what we were. We're looking towards trying to push him into using it. On his, on his drive. Okay, he's going traditional. I mean, if he can knock these three down, uh, there, there's hope for him. Or even away. I don't know that he can knock. You have to do some elaborate setup to knock them all off the ball. Um, which I don't know that he can do safely because we've got so many players marked up now. Blitz in the war dancer. He did knock him down, which is real unfortunate. Because we could have used his agility to do some work. And he's also stunned, which is also not good. Because, uh, yeah, no shenanigans next turn from him. So he doesn't necessarily need that guy there. So that him doing that, we actually don't mind because he was already on a on a three plus there. I mean, not a three plus on a two dice. Yeah, this my team badly needs another reroll. I mean, what you can sort of get away with wood elves, but not when you not when you play aggressive defense. Or just play badly. <laughs> um. Yeah, we, we really need him to roll some dub skills here. Otherwise he's just going to punish us. I guess he could try and pick up the ball. It's on a 4 plus with a reroll, but then what's he do with it? I mean, I guess he could just stay where he, where he is. Okay, using his last reroll is kind of nice. Oh, and, uh, and he fell over. Okay, okay. So it's in two tackle zones. This guy got stunned, didn't he? Most unfortunate. Um, so you, my friend, are going to come down for an assist, unfortunately. 
because we need to try and push him onto the ball and see see where if we can scatter it somewhere better or somewhere worse. Um, I think you have to stand up because we need to exert tackle zones on these guys so they don't just pick it up. Oh, you have a two dice, but not going where we want it to. Uh, not ideal, because he's going to be standing. I'd like to have knocked him over. Oh boy. Oh, that got even worse. Okay. Well, such is the way of things. Got a one dice on this guy. At this stage, do we take it? Yeah. Yeah, this is this is probably gonna cost us the half here. Okay, it's a push. Follow in. Okay. Still in two tackle zones. I could push it again. Um, no. I mean, we're just playing to see what we can make happen here. I thought about getting this guy in, and then if he picks it up on the, what, 4+, plus, just hand off. Probably what I should have done, but they do have this little pocket three guys here who are like, nope. So, decided against it. We're not leveraging our block as much as we like, and in fairness, the times we have leveraged our block on our block guys, it's generally um, not come to a whole lot. No, I, I need those pairs. Okay, he's going for the bobble. Risky, because we do have these two guys. Oh. Okay. That's uh, that's perfect. He, he couldn't ask for better than that. Now he can just run this guy down. Run a couple Chaos Warriors down his bodyguards. Bob's your uncle. Yeah, that's uh <laughs> that was the bubble we tried for three or four times. So he wants to move this guy so that he can run everybody else down and kinda get in our way. I can't believe after all that, it's just that bubble, the cat, the easy catch. Okay, he's moving people before he does the block, so that's something. Oh, hello. That's a little interesting. Because we can provide an assist here. I'm trying to decide about scoring threats. I mean, this is our best scoring threat. We pop our anti-assist here. Uh, you have to stand up. And all you have to do is... Uh, Roll well here, which could easily not happen. Let's bring you in. And seeing as you're not going to do a whole lot this turn, let's have you at least active somewhere in the middle of the field. And I guess let's have you here. Let's try and keep them as penned in as we can. But ultimately it won't matter too much if this doesn't work. Dodge use, but we don't have any more dodges, just a GFI. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, we'll follow. Okay, so we're giving him a hit here, but I didn't. I didn't want to like lose the ball off a of bludger. Like we at least need to make him work for it. Oh boy, is he gonna wizard? Nah, I don't think he's gonna wizard. I mean, our chances of scoring aren't great. He should probably use some of these guys to mark up before he does anything too vital. Even just one guy on each of these guys makes it a whole lot harder if things go wrong. I don't think they can do a whole lot down here. So he's going to push him here. He's going to hit him again. Is he? Because it would have to be a blitz if he wants anybody to score. He'd have to kind of blitz and follow out. And he needs to mark up if he's going to do it. Yeah, okay. So he's given up. Which makes sense. He hasn't used a blitz, so he can actually blitz one of these guys. So we don't really expect to score, but if we do, that's a, a nice bonus. Uh, if he doesn't do anything else to this guy, I think we pop him in the end zone. We try and get the ball to our war dancer, and our war dancer tries to do a long throw. Scoring would be a bonus here. If we had a reroll, I'd honestly be pretty expectant on scoring. But as it stands, I got a lot, I got some dice rolls to do that aren't very certain. You need you need an assist in there if you're going to block me. Which honestly, you may not want to because you. I mean, if he knocks him over, it's fine. If he doesn't knock me over, he actually probably pushes me into a better position. We'll see. He's trying to decide who to blitz. I mean, it's probably worth standing the agility. Uh, I'd have to stand him up twice. He could put one guy here and one guy here, and then that's very awkward. Okay, so he is going to have... Didn't necessarily need that guy, but I guess it's... Oh, he did. Okay. Alright. So I guess the plan is... Hand off to this guy. Which is not the easiest plan in the world, honestly. Because um, I need to get through here, really. I'm going to have to do some bad blocks here. I'm going to have to do this. And then a blitz on him. Stay. Can't go through that way. Have I have to go this way. Uh, this doesn't really matter. I may as well follow. Oh, after that it was a 2 plus with a dodge, and a 2 plus for a, th for a throw, and then a 2 plus with a catch. So it was like two 2 pluses with a reroll, and one 2 plus without. So it was actually looking pretty certain after that. I mean, at least their knocked out guy stayed out. 
but we are one down currently and it's uh it's our guy that might actually make an impact I mean honestly a draw was a fair result for the first half there probably because they did get the the lucky dropout um like the lucky uh scatter but you know we managed to get it free and everything so I don't know I feel like we could have scored there we needed to I probably shouldn't have used my reroll earlier on the on the war dance thing I think that was that was my big mistake was the early rerolls should have saved them for the, uh, the better plays but you know once we got it free they were in trouble Okay, so we'll put you in the middle here, you on the outside, you on the outside. Um, let's put the ball on, let's try and put the ball on the catcher. Uh, and if he wants to score that's great, because... Um, that means if they wizard, it's not as painful as losing the war dancer, and the war dancer can potentially get back in. Uh, okay, yeah, I think overall it's as good as we can do. I put the war dancer on the front line because he can dodge back, in case anybody's wondering. I'm not going to blitz on the first turn unless some weird kickoff result makes that a better choice. Okay, it kind of did. We lost 2-3, they lost 2. Why do we always come out worse with those? Okay, but we can uh we can take we can potentially take our time a little here. Um, we will try and blitz. Uh, very nice. Uh, you're not really worth having as a scoring threat. So we'll pop you back here so he stands up. Well, stands up that guy anyway. Keep the war dancer sort of in that vague area. Try and pick it up. And I'm just going to drop all the way back and I'll be right back. So I would be, I don't expect him to wizard for a while. He's probably going to want to get more of a surround on us before he does that. Honestly, 
I'm not going for a quick score, but if he presents a way to kind of get through, I probably will take it even if it means scoring in three or four turns. Because I think just getting on the board in this game with him having a wizard um, and us being down a player is would be nice. Okay, he's surrounding this guy like we want to throw it to him. He's not even in scoring range, so we don't really. I mean, I suppose it's not... I suppose he is a danger, because if he does commit more of his players down pitch, and this guy got free, I suppose in fairness he'd be hard to catch. So, it's not, it's not a terrible idea. He can kind of slow play it a little bit. He wants to at least send a couple of guys down there. Otherwise, we might just dilly-dally in the backfield. Play a, a little bit of who wants some SPP. I still would like to get the ball to the catcher. Because he has dodge, uh, which is both useful for getting hit, but also for getting away if he does end up getting based, which is quite likely at some point. Uh, and also just because he's, uh, I mean, he's got sprint, could be useful. I think this player does know what they're doing. I think this is a, a decent player. It's a good result for us. No way you're re-rolling that. You just... Yeah, I was going to say you're just deciding which one to do, but he doesn't, doesn't even have blocks, so there's no decision there. I mean, I know he doesn't want to leave him on his feet, because... There's a danger now. I think there's a legit... Um, there's a legit cause to try and go this way. Um, I think we actually are going to stand this guy up. We can hit this guy potentially. If we bring this guy around... So you can get to, say, this line here. So if we put our catcher here... I think, unfortunately, I have to give him the ball now. And hope that we don't roll the double one, just because it's not safe over here by himself. Wow, well, we rolled the double one. Okay, so this is interesting now. Uh, I kind of wish I had taken my war dancer up already. I don't know why I left him there. I don't think I was going to blitz. I, I might have blitzed with him. No, I probably would have blitzed with this guy. Um, does he wizard and who does he wizard? If we draw out a wizard here, it could be a positive of that bad roll. But I don't think he wizards. I don't... I don't I don't think this is the point. I think you. I think he has a uh, nice potential to exploit this now anyway. So let's see what the plan is. I mean, you'd, you'd imagine he's going to try and get on the ball. Whether that's by trying to hit this guy... No, he tried to hit that guy. Interesting. Are you not trying to get on the ball? Because, I mean, obviously you can knock both of these guys down, but the two guys he would do it with are probably gonna... 
I'd have thought you'd at least want one guy on the ball to cause me some issues. Yeah, I mean, you can hit there. Oh, you got the war dancer down. That's, uh... That is most sad. Push is nice. Okay, interesting. Oh, hello. I mean, we unsurprisingly got stunned, but that does suggest a potential move up here. Now, if the war dancers were up, we'd be feeling even better about that. Okay, I think, unfortunately, Mr. Blocker, you have to take a hit. And even worse, I think we have to do this first to clear him out of the way. So if we roll as bad as him, it's trouble. Uh, let's move that way, and I actually need you out of the way as well. Okay, you can go here. What on earth are we block blitzing? I mean, this guy? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so that frees this guy up to come here. Do I just get my war dancer up here? No, I think I bring him over here. Okay, good catcher. I don't want to give him a good wizard here. I think that might be my best spot. If this is a push, we just push and follow. Okay, that's better. Uh, do we follow? No, we stay. I just don't know what's going to lure out the wizard here. But, like, he can't... Yeah, I don't think he did it very fast that time because he's got, like, this line of blockers here. So even if he did, like, a fireball or even if he did a lightning bolt, like, he doesn't have easy ways through. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, yeah, we shouldn't be seeing a block on the ball carrier. Unless I've really missed something obvious. Keeping this guy back here as a, a sweeper in case things go horribly wrong, I think it was good. We've also put this guy horribly out of position. So how much can he kind of come up here? I mean, this guy can get up. He could potentially blitz him. This guy could come around. So they can form kind of like a, a crown over the top for want of a better phrase. A lot is going to depend on if they manage to push, like knock both of these guys over. Okay, he didn't knock over Oak. But that is quite annoying because it puts uh, Alder in base contact. Okay, going for the blitz to apply pressure on the ball, I guess. 
pop him in here to keep him in contact there. I don't know that this guy can really get around to me now. Maybe he can? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, he sort of can. Okay, so he's basing us very hard here, which I do not like at all. I think we may be looking at falling back here. He's managed to get quite a lot of presence up front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go here. He probably he might keep this guy here actually. It's a tricky one. Okay, just backed him off. So if I hand off to this guy, don't really like it. Okay, so first things first, uh, oh, oh, I put it, what am I doing? I'm probably, oh, that was, that was poor. I think I imagined blitzing with him. Uh, okay, that being the case. Oh, dear. Do that. This is feeling very fireball-y all of a sudden. I'm gonna have to do some dodges here. So this is a potential fireball here. If I put him here, he's out of the tempting fireball range, but kind of in contact with the ball. But yeah, I think I would be tempted because he's got lots of guys loose. He can hit all three of the good uh, players and potentially rush in. I think this is the time where you drop it. And I think you do go fireball rather than lightning bolt. Because we don't have a lot of great recovery outside of what's there. I am surprised. That could have been devastating for us. The fact that it hits the, would hit the war dancers as well is what really makes me feel like that was the like the peak time. It's not to say that we're in a great position there. I mean, he can, you know, he can like bring a chaos warrior in, chaos warrior in here, a chaos warrior in here, like back him up with a couple of beastmen and basically block us really hard here. 
So we're not in a great position. There may be something to be said for, if we can, um, popping our War Dancer further up the field as a legit scoring threat. Because we may need that out soon. Is he going to block this off? Because as, right, as of right now, this is kind of an obvious... Okay, well if this works... It didn't. So does he follow in on it? And if so, where does he go? Oh, he followed in that way. Okay. Now if this guy comes here... He may not want to, because he may want to stop us going down the line here. But I think the players move across, honestly. Okay, the players definitely move across now. So we can get to here. And I think we go as far as we can. We're on a one dice there, but it doesn't seem worth it, really. I think, unfortunately, you're going to have to drop back. Okay, so I think I do this now in case this goes wrong. Because at least we're dropping it next to some players. How far forwards do we want to go? I think that far forwards. Should have blitzed this. Where can you even go? I suppose this way. Okay, that's actually pretty nifty. So he has a blitz on us. But we have reverse sides fairly well. He hasn't left it completely open, he's playing pretty sensibly. Knowing that there's only so much you can do to completely shut down Wood Elf's movement. But yeah, he has a dodge out blitz. This guy going here meant that... I don't know, he was really going to get anybody around that way anyway. And we have a little bit of a blocker. Like, he can, he can move his team back. And maybe even knock this guy down to get a little presence here. But it's going to be hard to have as solid a side as he did over here. And this little screen is, like, secondary screen is quite useful for us. Obviously this guy can be clunked. So I think, depending on what he does, this is the turn where we move into a scoring potential, at least. But we'll see how things transpire. Transpire? I think that's what the word I'm looking for.
because him standing guys up like this is obviously good for him in some ways. But it also means if we just leave this guy here, uh, this guy is harder to do something with next turn as well. So it kind of works both ways to a degree. Oh, I'm surprised he went that way. I, I assume he's like going to blitz in here or something. But this guy is more available to help on this side now. But yeah, he's just trying to gradually force us into a place where the wizard will be like most effective. Rather than kind of blow it early and not get the ball. Like he can't afford to not get the ball from the wizard. Depending on what he does, we could... Okay, yeah. I was going to say, we could blitz this guy and move up into here. We have to be kind of careful now. Because there's, there's uh, stuff on all sides. Screening is a, a bit more scary. He'll probably take that, I reckon. Didn't get the armor break, which is nice. Which means we can kind of use this guy as a... Something of a backfill. I'd honestly like to mark up the uh, warrior. Or maybe even blitz the warrior. That'd be novel. That frees up this guy again. Yeah, I think we do this. So we can take this block at some point there. This guy can be our top corner. Yeah, let's follow to keep him based up, in case he wizards. I think we're theoretically in scoring position now, we'd have to GFI though. Do I just stay here? Yeah, I don't think I can reach anywhere else, so just, just being a roadblock is useful, honestly. Yeah, we're theoretically in scoring position. And the war dancer is also. This war dancer isn't. But like at some point he has to commit heavily, you'd think. Because if he doesn't, if he doesn't block us off here, uh, we just... Honestly, maybe score. If he does block us off, we could consider the big switch through. If he doesn't leave anybody over here, a handoff, and then a sprint over here. But we'll see how heavily he commits. It's not ideal, but with agility 5, you're leap doing a 2 plus leap. So even if he walls this off pretty extravagantly. Uh, the downside to that is, of course, uh, the wizard. That he will wizard and we'll probably just get a draw. But... Um, yeah, it's a pretty big downside, actually. <laughs> but there's only so much we can do at this stage anyway. Like, if we don't go in this turn, unless he leaves... enough, Unless we somehow manage to get, like, three guys up here, in which case I will stall so that he uses the wizard, and then we can try and pick it up with somebody else. If we can only get the catcher through, we... I don't know, maybe we have to try and score. I hate to do it with three GFIs, that's a lot.
So where's he? Where's he punching? Obviously, this guy can hit somewhere. He kind of does need to move in on this though, because obviously, we otherwise we just like blitz this guy off and. I think he hits this guy. He needs to remove uh because this guy is also a scoring threat. Oh, okay. I mean, either way, either one of these guys. <laughs> he doesn't want to give up this side altogether. Did he take the war dance today? Oh, he took the war dance down. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it makes sense to go from this side. I think I have to go for this. Unfortunately, which will leave him two turns to score. Because of the wizard. Uh, I don't like... <laughs> I don't even like doing this, unfortunately. <laughs> good start, good start. Solid. So does he wizard this guy? Just to clear him off? I think you do. I mean just to stop him from having the ability to maybe score. Expecting that symbol to go away. Like the wizard does not do him any use on turn 16. Because I'll have already had mine turn 16. So you gotta use it on something. And it would free up this guy to go over here. I'm like 90% sure that's what I would do. I mean, if you knock him over, then sure. But. Why is it always the loner that ends up next to the end zone? It doesn't really matter, apart from the fact that it would be a waste of S SPP uh, if he was the one to score. We've had some rough times with this team. <laughs> the pairs have begun to come good now. Oh, that's rough. Rough, rough, rough. Yeah, we've had some, some tough games. I feel like... I guess we just need that, that third reroll. I mean, it wouldn't have helped here because we saved it very carefully. <laughs> Only for it to not do anything. Is he going to go pick this up? It's risky. Because now that this loner is just as good as anybody else now. Don't think I won't score with him just because he will steal the SPP. I guess the question is, does he just place the guy next to the ball to make it hard for us to score? Or does he try and grab the ball to try and score himself? Uh, 
Um, I'm sure Han is working out pretty nicely. Okay, so that's definitely a problem. Okay, got a little lucky with where it landed. So we could do that. We can get the war dancer up here. Potentially. So I think the I think the sensible play is um is actually get this guy up here. Try and blitz with the war dancer. It didn't matter. I didn't stand this guy up because this guy needs to throw. Well, that's what, three draws now? Or maybe two losses? It's supposed to be so much easier for Wood Elves at the beginning. You can usually go like eight games without losing. I don't know what's going on here, really. But it ain't good. I mean, maybe I'm just playing really badly. I don't know. I'm trying to kind of assess. I, I think I've made like a couple of little mistakes, but I think he's made some little mistakes as well, so... Uh, Wood Elf should still overall do better. So he's going to throw to this guy. Oh, he... Uh, okay. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. He's still got to do a, a throw here. Failed the catch. I don't even know. A draw is probably reasonable there. He probably feels like he should have got the win. I don't. I honestly don't know anymore. What's happened? What else? Because we didn't even really struggle this game because armor breaks. Like a little bit, sure, but like you, this would not be a surprising result for dark elves either. It just, I don't know. We got some double ones at some crucial moments, I guess. We got, maybe we got out of position. Maybe I'm still not playing Wood Elves the way, the way you should. I mean, we had some rough goes with those bubbles early on. Like there's so often when you play Wood Elves or you play as, oh boy, internal server error. That's interesting. I guess it's just gonna act this out for us again, maybe? <laughs> Looks like it's our turn. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like maybe we should probably should have won that. Like, we just had some rough times. Like, with an Agility 5 War Dancer who's constantly able to dive in, we haven't done super well with our, with our going in after the ball and getting the ball to actually bubble to a good place for us. Um, and then we've had to commit much harder than we'd like to onto the opposition teams. So Arm got man of the match. Of course, he's one of the ones that hadn't. Oh, team. Why are you doing this to me? Did we get uh, enough money for uh, another reroll? Yeah, we got loads of money. Um, hang on a second. Didn't Cedar get an injury? Is my imagination playing tricks on me? Or was it Fur that got the... 
No, he's got him this next game. Hang on, but... But it's showing that he's okay. I'm very confused here. Did I? Oh, our game didn't register. Did it? Well, it kind of it gave us the money. Oh, this is the most confusing thing in history. It gave us the money. It didn't give us the role. It's, it's not showing the game. But it gave us the money from the game. And who was who got the MVP? It was Elm, right? Elm did not get. So it didn't give the SPP. Which. I guess we're okay with. Didn't give us the result. Huh. But we do somehow have a full team and now we were able to buy a reroll. Well. Interesting. So I guess you could say that game was a, com a complete waste of time, but in a weird way it worked out for us. Because our Cedar is still in good condition. We've got an extra reroll. And I don't even know if Ferris missed in this game or not. That's The fact that he's not kind of like uh, doled out makes that very <laughs> makes that injury very confusing. Um, either way, I I mean it was a, it was an interesting game. And it was a, a good tense game, but we uh, our elf shenanigans haven't kicked in properly yet. And uh, we need them to. So thanks for watching that one. Uh, hopefully it was interesting, even though I guess it was meaningless. Um, and I will catch you for the next one, which may or may not exist. Bye for now.